What is up, YouTube? I got a good idea for today's video. I'm here with my girlfriend, and I want to see if we can make a part two to crushing the best thing on. I'm gonna try to throw a white spinner bait just to test my luck. If not, I'm gonna throw the big old swim bait. I'm definitely reel this in one a bit. So stay tuned. I don't think I have my trailers or nothing, so I'm probably not gonna throw the spinner bait long. But they have a crawl trailer on here as we speak. It's gonna be a lot harder to record with this on my head than it is my chest, cause so I'll probably forget that it's there. It's like they are feeding. Or I hooked up on one that was on the side of the bottom. It's like I'm scaring a lot of these fish off the banks. Stay back, stay back. You can walk up, but don't get too close. A lot of these fish are up shallow. I just scared a few of them off the bank. Try to see how shallow these fish are. I walked up and I even scared some away from like 10 feet away. This water sure is still clear over here. Okay. Oh, that's a money cast. It's like the perfect depth. That I'll scare him away at. Last time I fished this side, do you want to fish this side? I'm just reeling a spinner bait at a moderate, honestly pretty slow speed. I'm not racing it, I'm not doing none of that. Felt like a bite, but I was just digging up the dirt. Now I've hooked up to a fish in here and lost it, so I know there's fish in here. I personally caught one out of here. It's always a first, though. This isn't one of the recommended ponds by the golf course, so nobody really fishes it. I don't have shades on, but that looks like a bass really shallow. Is it? I don't know. No, I think I'm seeing stuff. I don't have no shades on. You getting any bites on that jig? Huh? I want to walk around with that pad pond. I grab my frogs if we make it there before the sun hits down. It's just a long walk.
That's where I thought I seen a big fish just dwelling in the dip. Now I see, I see, it looks like a little perch right there. Got one. Oh, he spit the hook. Why don't you spinner baits? I mean, I do use spinner baits, but this is why people use trailer hooks. I don't have any trailer hooks. Here's a little small one. At least I got some nice jump in the air action. Similar to what happened to the first time I came here. I hooked up the one and he spit the hook. It's like the fish are elusive in here. It'd be nice if I pulled like a three or a four out of here. They even have that in here. Keep him low, keep him low, keep him low. Dude, he's a jumper. That's why these fish are so elusive. Stay down, stay down. He's a nice too. God, his teeth are sharp. He might even be a three. Beautiful fish. <sighs> Pretty good hook set on him. Not sure what brand spinnerbait this is. It's a Booyah. Fish are elusive, just like I was talking about. You should weigh him, man. I am. I just want to see so I can get more accurate. Am I pinpointing? Well, I'm not. Sorry, buddy. Two pounds, nine ounces. It's about two and a half. I'm gonna get a reread on him. He looks close to three. Yep, nope. Two nine. Beautiful fish. He bit that. We're halfway going on here. Let's get a release on this guy. Woo! Got me soaked. That was a good fish. And I got him from a good distance out there, so he gave me a pretty good fight, too. He jumped out the water, what, three times? Two, three times? Mm -hmm. You know, I busted up my... I don't have any swim bait trailers right now. I need to change the line on this rod. One. But I'm using a crawfish trailer and he busted the tail off that thing. Whew. Smoke that spinner bait. It's still recording, right? Yeah. All right. Try to get out there and see if we can get us another one. He just slammed it. And with this medium, I have to look. I'm pretty sure this is a medium light rod, so I feel everything within the water. But it's really not ideal for major hook sets. I need to get me a medium heavy rod, like a seven three flip in stick. And I'll start throwing soft plastics more. Oh, again, again, there's a bed right there. There's a bed right there.
Stay down. <laughs> it's fun. These are little fighters. That's almost back to back. Booyah spinner bait. Get you some. These little fish in here, they're fat. I'm having fun right when we're about to leave this pond. That's two of them. Right there in the middle. Get my spinner bait all tied up. I might have to retie. No, my knot's fine. My crawfish, on the other hand, is busted up. But we're gonna go ahead and keep fishing with him. Right out here in the middle somewhere. Seems to be where they're feeding at. I have to slow roll this. Let's see if we can get a back to pack. It's like they're fired up this time of evening. So I was saying I was hoping they had these elusive three and four pounders in here. I'm hoping they have this four. You seen there was almost a three pounder in here. Beautiful fish. There's got to be a tank in here somewhere. I think a lot more of the fish are following it and committing to it. Oh, I had a sputter right there. So I'm saying I don't think they're committing to it. Or they're seeing it and watching it more than they are really just biting it. the fish I do not think are shallow in this pond they're out in the middle I don't know this pond as good as the other ponds like I said this one was not recommended by anybody here and I almost got a three pounder out here so maybe there's something bigger it looks to be like it could hold a little bit bigger fish, but not, definitely not no sixes, I don't think. Maybe fours and fives. If there's something that came out of here bigger than that, I'd have a heart attack. So a lot of people would have just called that fish a three or a four pounder and just put him back in the water. We could have made it to the other pond by now, but this fish started biting right before we left. Let's see if we can't pull a little hat trick out this pond. I almost did, but that one got off the hook. Let it sink a little bit. 
I don't know how deep it is. I'm running mono, so I mean, that don't really help. You get like three more guys. I wish I had like some like f like type of bobber or something that you could see underwater that you could just go through the whole pond and see all the structure and the fish and all that stuff. Definitely isn't how it was described to me. It's fun to describe way different. Yeah, it looks good. There's a little bit of grass, but... Let's see if we can't ring one out first, guys. Seventies right now. Still a lot more clear. I've never seen a red golf ball before. Oh. This is my lucky golf ball. My lucky three pounder. I'm leaving the golf course now. This is going to wrap up today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed. I had a blast fishing today. If I'd have had a trailer hook, I don't know, maybe I'd have pulled in maybe two more fish. I need to go ahead and restring this bait caster so that next time I'll be ready. Back for bigger fish. If y'all enjoyed, smash that like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe. Be sure to hit the post notifications for more outdoor content. I'm Dynamic Fishing TV, and y'all have an amazing day.